Hi there, and welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show. This is that space where we come together to gather tools, to gather mindset, to corral together and remind ourselves what we deserve to have in life and to figure out how to get there, how to achieve that. If no one's told you today, I want you to know that you get to choose the life you lead. No matter what's happened in the past, no matter what the present moment looks like, you get to choose. Now, I didn't say it'd be easy, and it definitely may not always be comfortable, but it is always possible. And don't let any situation or any person make you think otherwise. While a lot of unexpected things happen to us in our lives, it doesn't mean that we don't get to navigate our life experience. You will have to become someone you may not have ever thought you'd have to become. You may have to do some things you never thought you'd have to do or go some places you never thought you'd have to go or pull some things out of you you didn't even know you had in you. <laughs> but the truth is, you get to design your destiny. You are the author of your autobiography. You get to create your life story. You may not determine every character. You may not be crazy about every character in your story or every situation in your story, but it doesn't change the fact that no one and I say no one, repeat after me, no one gets to write your story but you. So often I meet people who don't believe that their dreams are possible for them. We're so used to looking at other people's life through the window of social media or through the window of television or through the window of whatever and wonder what do I need to do? Why can't my life get easier for me? Why can't I have that? Well, number one, you don't know the whole story. <laughs> you have no idea what they've had to do, navigate through to take that picture or to give you that shot. You only know that you got the sometimes filtered version of their life. The truth is anything is possible for you. You just have to choose it. And then you have to choose your conviction, say conviction, type in the chats, my conviction, over your convenience. Now that right there, that's the game changer. That's the deciding factor. That's what distinguishes people who are living the life they know they can have from people who are knowing that they deserve a better life but they don't have it. Is your commitment to live in your conviction over your convenience. The thing that I see that hold most people back isn't the knowledge. It isn't the money. It's not the lack of knowledge. It's not the lack of money. It's not the lack of opportunity. It's mindset. Blows my mind. And I know because I was there. You know, I for probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe 13 years, I felt like I was living a version of myself. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I felt like I was living a version of myself, meaning who I was showing up as was nice and she was, she was assertive and she was kind and she was goal-oriented, but she was just like, I believe, 15% of the woman I knew myself to be. But the 15% that I was impressed people, or it at least got me by. You know what I mean? Doing just enough to get by. And don't mention when people started complimenting me and telling me how wonderful I was doing, then I felt like I was doing better than a lot of people around me. But it didn't change the fact that I knew there was more in me and there was more for me. And I wanted to touch that. I just wanted to touch my own 100. But sometimes you got to be your own hype man and lady. Sometimes you got to be your biggest, bestest cheerleader. Sometimes you may be the only one in your cheerleader stands cheering for you, and that's okay. You have to be willing to understand that even if you get knocked down, if you can look up, you can get up. You got to recognize that if you can walk, then you can turn your walk into a run. And if you can run, man, you can turn your run into a sore. But you also got to know that even if you're crawling, you can turn your crawl into a walk first. 
you got to be willing to look in the mirror on a daily. Like you're looking at me right now. You give me your time, you got to be willing to give yourself your time. Look in the mirror on a daily and remind yourself who you are, who you've become. Navigate and pat yourself on the back for who you've been. And then remind yourself that abundance, happiness, joy, living on purpose is your birthright. It's not a hookup. Please, I'm still waiting on my hookup. It's your birthright. Spoiler alert. It's 360 abundance. 360. You get to be happy in your health. You get to be happy in your wealth and your finances. You get to be happy in your relationships. And you get to be happy in your spirituality. You get 360 abundance. So today I extend a, a, a gentle or, or hard, whichever way you need it served to you, invitation as your sister for you to stand up. Stand up and call your future into your present tense. Stand up and demand, demand to yourself and your intentions that you transform into the next best version of you. Don't make it optional. Now, I want to give you this powerful affirmation, just a series of statements. The affirmations turn my crawl into a walk and my walk into a run, and you know the rest. I had to declare it to myself, even when my life didn't look like it at all, even when my life did not match my statements. I had to keep making the statement boldly until my life adhered to the statement I was making about who I know myself to be. So repeat after me. I stand here in my greatness. Just say that. I stand here in my greatness. I own my light. I own my brilliance, I am enough, I'm bold, I'm courageous, I am perfect in my imperfection. This is my time. I am bright enough. I am old enough. I am young enough. I've experienced enough. Hence, I'm wise enough. I understand who I am. I Embrace who I choose to become. I'm unapologetic about my intentions. Get ready. Here I come. I want you to save these words. Print them out and put them somewhere so you can see them. I used to have statements all over my house. I still have them in places, but I had them on my bathroom mirror. I had them on my kitchen refrigerator. I had them on the back of my front door. And the one on the back of my front door, it's been over 22 years. I still know what it says. It says the world is ready for my greatness and I'm ready for the world. I still remember it because it, it spoke to me. It got me ready. It reminded me. So print them out. When fear creeps in, when doubt creeps in, when naysayers creep, creep in, when haters throw haterade on you and it's louder than your possibility, turn around and look at it. Turn around and read it and say, oh, I, you know what, I, I'm tripping. I forgot who I was. Let me remind myself, I am enough. <laughs> say these words and then keep going. Remember, this show is not just a monologue. It's a dialogue. This is your safe space, say safe space. This is your safe space, judgment-free zone. Come on, studio, say judgment-free zone. Judgment -free zone. This is it. They're gonna say it again with a lot of energy. Say judgment-free zone. Judgment-free zone. This is the judgment-free zone. I caught them off guard, y'all. <laughs> this is the place where you come and you can bring all your genius and we won't put you down for that. Or you can bring all your curiosity, questions, and concerns, and we won't put you down for that either. We're going to love you as is. 
and we're going to love the person you're becoming. So leave a comment below and let me know which of these lines and this affirmation really set you on fire or what did you need to remember? Why did this message, if it served you perfectly right now, why? What did you need to hear? What did you need to be reminded of? What did you know, but then you forgot that you knew it, so you start living like you didn't know it anymore, and you're like, mm, hello, thank you, Lisa. I needed to be reminded of that. What? Please comment below. I really love to hear from you. This is a dialogue. This is a courageous, grown folk conversation. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Why not? Listen. This is the place where we come to keep moving together and click the bell notification to be notified when new episodes drop. And remember this, every single time that I say that I believe in you and that I love you, it's not because it's my closing statement. It's not because I've run out of words. You know, I, I really don't do that. It's because I do. And if you haven't heard anyone say it lately, I believe in you, and I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then.